Lola, say hi. All right, everybody. Hello. It is Mike, the R Retentive. <clears throat> um, coming to you today with a video of birthday stuff. Uh, not birthday albums, I guess, that I went out and purchased today. So yesterday was my birthday, November 7th. And uh, we went out and did a whole bunch of fun excursions. Um, and ended up actually going to the casino for a short bit. And I actually won some money for a change. Uh, so naturally, I went to the record store today. So I also had today off. I took yesterday off and today off. And uh, uh, that was my... Decided I was just going to do a big record run. So I went to Half Price Books, uh, where I got these two items. Um, <laughs> I picked this up out of really out of pure nostalgia. Um, no nukes, right? So my friend Jeff, well, uh, Alan will remember that he and I uh, had this argument about. The Jackson Brown song "Face" is it "Face the Fire"? Man, is that that one's on here? Maybe it wasn't. Dang it! Anyway, it's got the Doobie Brothers, Bonnie Raitt, John Hall, Doobie Brothers, um, James Taylor, um, Tom Petty and Heartbreakers, Bruce Springsteen, Crosby, Sills, and Nash. So it's actually a three record set. I didn't realize that. So I have no idea how, what, good, what shape it's in, but you know, I thought, what the heck, for two dollars. So this is back when, uh, what year was this? 1979. Wow. <laughs> so that should be interesting. But it's a good, you know, it's a good uh, batch of uh, musicians. Two bucks. Uh, so I thought I'd give that a shot. <clears throat> and then they had this one. Blade Runner. Now, I know this is not the... I don't know if this is an original or um, a, a reissue or what, but uh, the one that I've gotten used to, I've listened to on Spotify, I guess, um, is the the deluxe version, right? Which is like three CDs and it has like snippets of the dialogue from the movie that is not this one. I don't think that one's ever actually been released on vinyl. Um, but this one goes along with my... Um, Gonna have to go up next to my 2001 Space Odyssey uh, album, which I picked up a while ago. So that was um, Half Price Books. So two records there. So then I went to um, Strictly Discs, um, where they are selling uh, my my portraits. Um, they had them down for a while. We had a miscommunication, <laughs> and. Uh, she had to find a new place to put them and so they're back up again and I will insert hopefully some pictures right here um, of them hanging in a new spot they're at the at the bottom of the stairs now it's the top of the stairs um, so if you are, happen to frequent strictly Discs in Madison when you get to the bottom of the stairs if you go downstairs um, just at the very bottom turn to your right and they're right there so so anyway I went down there and uh, I went through the discount bin, which I'll show next, but I picked up a couple of uh, what, we, what do we call uh, normal priced used CDs, right? First pressing, Black Sabbath, uh, the first album. Um, this is actually Alan's fault, my friend Alan. He uh, we would play this uh, game. Um, via email where we select songs on theme and uh, 
he picked something from uh, Black Sabbath with four, which I thought was interesting. I didn't really suspect him as being a Black Sabbath fan. Um, but once he said that, I was like, oh, Black Sabbath. I'm like, which one's the one I have? And, and this, I didn't have this one, so pick that up. I also picked up Judas Priest, Point of Entry. So this kind of is, um, I don't know, friends of mine that like Judas Priest said this was kind of a, a turning point album, right? They kind of went away from the sort of uh, goth heavy metal stuff and started going a little, a little more poppy, I guess. Which uh, for me worked out good. I liked it. And then I happened to find myself over in the Joni Mitchell section and I picked up a bunch of Joni Mitchell. These are all pretty cheap, uh, not dollar bin cheap, but cheap nonetheless. So this is uh, while things run fast. <clears throat> Mingus, this, uh, that whole album is uh, dedicated to the memory of Charles Mingus. <laughs> We have a bit of a newer one. This is uh, Dog Eat Dog. Uh, Don Juan's Don Juan's Reckless Daughter. I had seen this album in the cutout bin like a billion and a half times and had uh, no idea what this was. I still don't. Um, I see that side two is a song called Paprika Plains, which is 16 minutes, 19 seconds, like the entire side of an album. So we'll see what that one's like. And for the life of me, I couldn't remember if I had this one or not. Makes me mad. I need to start making my list and taking it with me. This is the hissing of summer lawns. Uh, Got a, you kind of know if you can really tell because these guys are embossed on here, so that's kind of cool. So anyway, that filled up my Joni Mitchell. I think there's only maybe a few that I'm missing. Check how much time we got. Okay. Here we go to the dollar bin. The first one I found. Boom! So purse. I almost bought this not too long ago for like six bucks. This was a dollar. Uh. It's got like thumbprints all over it, but it doesn't look like any scratches. So yeah, this probably is the second worst Linda Ronstadt album cover that ever that exists. Uh, <laughs> but I really I like it. And I'm not sure what they were thinking of that one, but whatever. Uh, Picked up an album by King. Um, one of these guys was in a band prior to this. God, do I, I want to say Bauhaus? No, maybe not. I don't know. But uh, I wanted to check that out, so I picked that up. I uh, just picked up... Oh, like it's a really good shape. The album itself is kind of messed up, but this is Bayou Country, like Clean Screw Rotter Revival. Kind of roughed up a little bit, but should play it good. <laughs> so, this is Atlantic Star. Uh, always. I don't know, that's on. But there's a promo. Uh, you know, it's a heart with an arrow through it. I figured I could use it for some kind of art project, right? Okay. Let's set that one aside, and that one aside, and that one aside. Okay, I picked up Paul Stanley's solo album. This one was in, it's pretty beat up, but I think it's the only one that I'm missing. Or it's a double. <laughs> Ugh. I don't know if that one's going to survive. Put in that one side. Okay, here was an interesting one. Soundtrack to Mood Lighting. I used to love this show. Um, and actually, 
uh, there's a Linda Ronstadt track on here. Oh man, these are those stupid, I hate these plastic DSPs like this. Terrible. Um, I used to have this on cassette. And I like that. I think Bruce Willis does one of these songs, right? Sybil Shepherd, Sybil Shepherd sings a couple, and Bruce Willis does Good Lovin'. I don't know, it looked fun. And then, helmet. So, got this one here. Um, I had a copy of this, but it had a horrific scratch in the second side, so I'm hoping this one's better. And uh, straight out of the gate, the cover is better, so. You can appreciate that one. Uh, and then Venus and Mars and Paul McCartney, um, which I have probably doubles of. Um, but um, I thought I could make some clocks out of these for my own purposes. Here's the sticker. Uh, by the way, I am working on a cutting of this, um, and I have all the black pieces cut out. Now there's going to be a huge amount of scrape down to occur that I still have to work on, and all the letters. So that's on its way. Okay, and now, also from the discount bins, I came across some hypnosis covers. So I like to show those. Uh, John Miles. This is uh, Stranger in the City. Not Hot Child in the City, but Stranger in the City. This is a hypnosis cover. I'm not sure it says anywhere in here exactly. Uh, sleeve design and photo by hypnosis. So. John Miles. This completes my John Miles set. There's two of them and hypnosis covers. And we got Hydra, Land of Money. This is also a hypnosis cover. Little Miss Rock and Roll. Never heard of these guys. Hydra. It's got a horrible cutout. <laughs> Down here in the corner, and some ring wear, but you know, for 99 cents, it's part of the collection, right? And we have this one, which is, I like the, this is a cool cover. This is the Fabulous Poodles with mirrors, mirror stars. So that's a weird, that's a weird picture, right? Oh, hypnosis cover. I'm going to check this one out. This is, uh, First track, Mr. Mike. That's me. No idea what these guys are smelling. I picked up one of their mystery grab bags, which is always fun. Uh, I figure for $1.99, I can uh, uh, use them for, for cutouts. And sometimes I find some interesting 45s in there. So uh, I picked this up today for $2.00. So this is going to be my official record package opening knife. If I can get it, get it open. It seems like an accident waiting to happen, right? There we go. How's that? Diggy. Oh boy. I saw the bottom one. Hey. Sibelius. I actually like Sibelius. This might be it might be good. Ugh. Gustav. <laughs> Beethoven. Not so much. Oh, we got the planets. That could be interesting. Heard that before. Oh yeah. Godspell. 
Hooked on Hooked on Classics. Yeah, well, those will become... <laughs> those will become stuff. Put those over here. And then, so, let's see, that's... So that's three actual hypnosis covers. All right. Yeah, and then, a couple weeks ago, I ordered a package um, of hypnosis cover albums from Discogs. And I've been saving that to open in this video. How's this closed? Oh. There you go. So these should be four hypnosis cover albums. So first off, we have Bethnal. Oh, let's see what they did. Okay, Bethnal Crash Landing. Special thanks to Pete Townsend listed on the back here. Uh, not sure what this one sounds like, so we'll have to check that out. Okay. And then we have Fumble. This one seems like it's <laughs> kind of water damage. <clears throat> Fumble. Hello, Mary Lou. Let me be your teddy bear. Let it rock and breaking up is hard to do. Hmm. <laughs> All right, that's that one. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, and then we got Dave Edmonds. Uh, Subtle as a flying mallet. This is uh, hypnosis cover. Cover design and photos by Hypnosis. Oh, this one looks like it's in. Wow, minty fresh. That's cool. Now, this last one, uh, as I ordered it, I realized that I think it's the wrong one. I ordered it um, because I didn't recognize it, but that's because uh, I had the other version of it. <laughs> so it's 10cc Are You Normal? Which is actually the look here, right? What is the deal with this? Is this a sleeve? <laughs> Not sure what the deal is with this. It's is this like a misprint or is this intentional like this? So it's the same it's the same thing. Weird. Anyway, this is not I think this is the like the UK version, so maybe I keep them both, but we'll see. Um uh, Oh, there's the fumble, the fumble album in the book. <laughs> Pick that one up. Why is it not listed as 10cc? Oh, it's not called Are You Normal? Sorry to be doing this on the video. That's kind of ridiculous, huh? It's called Look Here, duh. I know you're probably all laughing at me right now. 278. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe the one I bought before was the wrong one. Because this is the cover that shows in the book. Hmm. 
Interesting. And the port, supposedly, the album, yeah, when it says, are you normal? Sorry, are you ready? And this one says, are you done? Interesting. I have to confirm that, but I'm pretty sure that the other one that I got that I thought was Hypnosis Cover is not, and this one is. So probably a wash on numbers that way, but so we're not going to count that one. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six new ones. Got Dave Edmonds, Subtle as a Flying Hammer, Fumble, Beth Nall, Fabulous Poodles, Hydra, and John Wales. So not bad. So that's all I have. Right now, I think that's all I have for a bit. Probably won't be buying any more records until probably after Christmas. Um, actually, the rest of the day in here, I'm probably going to start working on sorting and purging some stuff in here. So, um, you know, kind of whittling it down to stuff that I know I will listen to and have those more weird one offs, and you're like, will I ever listen to this? Probably not. So, time to get rid of it. So, that's that. Uh, happy birthday to me. <laughs> I'm 53 now. Yuck. Anyway. I'll cut you. Hopefully I won't cut myself. Alright, I think that's it. Um, yeah, that's it. Talk to y'all later. Watch for a new total, finally, on the board, the uh, hypnosis tote board, after this.